Hi, welcome back. Let's look into module number 13. In this module, we look into AAA principles and configuration. So we have two topics here. We have AAA overview and AAA configuration. So we only have two chapters here. Now, what exactly is AAA? So let's look into the basic concept of the AAA. AAA stands for authentication, authorization, and accounting. So short, we call it as AAA. Provide a management mechanism for network securities. So we have the first step here is to do user identity. Identify user by information such as account and password. So these are the two information that the user who log on to uh, the system or to your device need to have username and password. So that's the first step, the user need to have this information. Second step here, we have authentication. Now the definition of authentication, which is identify and authenticate user who attempt to access resources. The user need to be authenticated. And authentication means that when the user log in, you have to put in the username and the password. That is called authentication. Now some authentication require you to use dual factor authentication, which means that you can put in your username and you have a SMS, for example, or you can use your fingerprint. Okay, so that is also authentication. In our fundamental course here, our authentication that we are going to use will basically the username and password. Next, we look into authorization. Authorization determine whether the access is granted authorization, which means that it's your permission. So who can do what after you log in? So a user one who log into the system will have different authorization as compared to user two. And final step, we have accounting. Now accounting is to check and record access. So let's say user one log in and uh, user one have certain authorization. And when the user one start to do something on the network, then the accounting start to record. You know, what are the information that the user have access, the number of packets they have access, and etc. We have here AAA, authentication. authorization and accounting. So, so after we understand the basic AAA, let's look into the common architecture on AAA. A common AAA architecture include user, network access server or NAS. So here we have the NAS and AAA server. The AAA server in this case can be HW takers or radius server. I'm going to explain this in more detail. So if, if you can see here, I have a user. The user, I have three user here. User number one at domain number one, user number two at domain two, and user number three at domain three. Now, each of these user are connecting to the IP network. And this IP network are connecting to a router. In this case, the router is a network access server. Now, the network access server can, in return, connect to AAA server. The AAA server contain all the information about the user, about the uh, and their password. Okay. Of course, that they. Also include uh, as system suggests AAA means that they also have the uh, authorization and accounting. Now let's look into 
put the authentication now. AAA support the following authentication mode. So I want you to remember that there are three authentication mode that NA. can support. The first one is called non-authentication. Second one is called local authentication. And lastly, we have remote authentication. Now, as its name suggests, when we use a non-authentication, let's say for example, user one is a non authentication means that when user one login is trusted so they do not need to be authenticated now in this case it is not secure so when the user login straight away it will go into access to your resources okay so that is non authenticate now second one is a uh, local authentication so user 2 is a local authentication so when we use local authentication the authentication is done by the nest the network access server is the one that contain the username and password so if you have doing the local authentication username and password is here right and lastly we have a remote authentication remote authentication means that the authentication is done in triple A. So this is how it works. When user three log in to the NAS, the NAS will send this information to a triple A server. The triple A server will determine if the user is allowed to use the resources. For example, user three want to go into the internet. Okay, so you want to go to internet. But before you go to the internet, you have to do authentication. So the NAS will intercept, authenticate by AAA. If user three is allowed, then you permit. If the AAA deny, then the user three will not allow to go to internet. All right, so that is the authentication. Next, we look into authorization. AAA support the following authorization mode. So again, it's similar to authorization. We also have three authorization mode, non-authorization, local authorization, and remote authorization. So it's the same three mode that we have on authentication. Authorization information include user group. So when the user log in, you can be placed into a user group authorization. Uh, you will be placed into VLAN ID, so you will be accessed to one VLAN and what is the ACL number you'll be assigned to. All right, so example here, we have a user number one going through the NAS and uh, here user one have none. So as you can see, none. That means that this is non-authorization. So the user do not need to go through the authorization. The user can be using all the resources. Then you also have user two at domain two which in this case is using a local authorization. Again, local authorization means that authorization is done on the NAS. So the NAS will determine what type of level authorization is permitted on user two. And finally, we have user three. User three is authorized by remote authorization. Remote authorization means that it's done by AAA. So, deliver permission to user 2 after authentication succeeded. So for the uh, AAA, we can use two ways for us to use the AAA protocol. One is called RADIUS. Another one is called HW Takers. Okay. Then we look into accounting. The accounting function monitor the network behavior and network resource utilization of authorized user. Just now we look into authentication and authorization. We also have three different modes. Okay. Now if we look into the accounting, they only have two modes. 
which is non-accounting and remote accounting. So there is no such thing called local accounting. Now accounting means that when the user access to the network, so for example, user number one, we do a non-accounting, user number two, non-accounting, whatever activity is not being locked. But user number three, you can see that user number three use a remote accounting, means that when the user access the network and when the authorization is permitted, the authentication is permitted, then the user will start to go to the internet and this information will be locked in the AAA. Again, the AAA will be HW takers and radius.